Hi everybody, we've been working on an experience site build. It's a very simple one. I'm showing you how to create a portfolio. This would be available to the public. If you have not watched the previous videos, you'll need to watch those in the playlist to catch up. I want to show you now, once we've had this basic portfolio, a couple things that we can do to expose it to the public. In previous videos, I showed you partially how to do that. Some of the things we need to do is go to settings, configure our guest user profile. It's already named here. This is the only way you can get to it. It's hidden otherwise. If we hit that under guest user profile, something we have to do in this profile is make the document object available. I'm going to control F and I'm going to look for the document object. We need to edit that. There's a couple different ways we should find the object. We need to give read access to that. We hit save. While that's saving, let's go back to the builder. I want you to click here, this top left button. We need to go into administration because there's something we have to do for it to be available. Let's click administration settings. We're going to activate the site. Under settings, we click activate. You hit OK. You give it a few minutes and it's going to activate the site. Now we have an active site. Our profile is set up. We're going to go back to the builder. There's another thing we're going to do. If we go over here to settings, we have the status is published and we have our URL. I'm going to copy this URL. Let's see what happens when I go to view this. If I open another window and view it, I'm already logged in, but it's not going to show up right. We're going to go incognito. Let's see how it looks and make sure our settings are right. Because sometimes you go to see it and it's not. Let's see what we have. When I allowed documents, when I gave them read access, that's going to allow them to see pictures. It's looking pretty good. This is everything I've put on here. I can continue to refine it, but go back to the home page. Remember this button in one of the earliest videos when we created the hero image, I put a button. This one I labeled my experience. You could label it my projects. You could label it anything that matches your menu. I want it to go to my experience. Right now, if I click it, it does nothing. I have to grab this URL. I cannot grab it while I'm in the sandbox or in the playground. I have to do it in this incognito window. And I'm going to control C, copy that. Let's just close this down. Go back here. Click on my hero image back in the builder. Remember that button? Primary button. Put that URL there. That's done. Hit publish. Takes just a few minutes. Let's try the button. And voila. That took me to the same page. I mapped this and this to be the same. Let's go back. Now that we can see it publicly, this is when you're going to want to go in and make some changes. Hit the publish button. Make sure you're previewing it. What I want you to do is follow these steps. Go look at it as an actual guest user, the way I showed you in the incognito window. Make all your tweaks and get it where you want. The basic thing when you do a portfolio site, you don't always have all these pages. This is not something I did overnight. Initially, you have a home page and it's basically about you. I don't have to have anything else but what I'm seeing right here. I add things and then I add menus and I add pages. As I have projects, I add them. For me, I have Build Your Brand, which has a lot of great information, my presentations. I have advanced features. None of this happens overnight, but the most important thing is just get a page up there. These are tile menus. I will create more videos with more advanced features that go into tile menus. Right now, you're just getting started and building an experience cloud site for yourself. This is how you get started. Let me know if you'd like other videos.